Hello my friends, I have some very very exciting run to show off today. It is a segmented, basically ideal run of Super Mario 64 16 star blindfolded. Now you might be know you, you might know that I have announced I will go for a sub 20 blindfolded. And the past few weeks I've actually grinded lots of ILs, um, individual levels, single stars and also runs already had some world record pacers, but the real question remains, what is the possibly best run we can get with current known strats? And you might be surprised, because there is quite a lot of new things, especially if you haven't seen blindfolded speedruns in like, let's say, one or two years. <laughs> um, because strats have massively changed. One thing that you will instantly notice is that Many of the strats we're going to present today look basically like in a visual speedrun. We just go so fast at this point. Here the first strat, actually one of the oldest strats in the run, the blindfolded instant lucky to skip. Um, in RTA runs we would do something a little different with normalizing on the fence, but this is the fastest way of doing it. Then. The big route change of 2023, the LBLJ route, is in place. We're gonna do the LBLJ, cleanly go into Bowser, and then do the new star, the new discovery, the big highlight that I was showcasing a few weeks, months ago, which is Dark World Rats. We're actually gonna collect red coins in Dark World in a very fast time. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to say about this run in general is this run is literally a ideal run. It is segmented. You can see between every stage and every segment there will be cuts and uh, my camera will change a bit. But uh, what is most important to know is that if you want to do these kind of strats in a real speedrun setting, um, or as, you, as, as we call it, RTA, then we would need to... It, it, it wouldn't really be feasible. These strats are mostly for single star that I'm going to show off in this run. The RTA strats are not much slower though. That is the one thing I want to say. This is just really literally a showcase of the ideal time that we could potentially get. Um, I will po If there are bigger changes um, compared to the normal run that we do, I will point that out as like in my commentary here but we can see that was a super super clean dark world reds and now we enter bowser one bowser one has a big new strat that i recently um, figured out a very fast bowser tail grab first of all here run around and then spin him twice and throw this, for example, is a strat we would not do in usual speedruns, because the Bowser throw just leads to so many resets. I'm still debating, I might actually go for a Bowser throw, but with a tiny bit um, slower setup where we spin him a bit more often. Uh, otherwise, we have also new strats in Bowser 1 that make it pretty fast. Then, we continue to the next stage, which is Worms Fortress. In Worms Fortress, we're gonna grab um, a couple of stars, let me say that. And there actually is also a route split between what we do in the ideal run and what we would do in usual speedruns. You will see what I mean in just a second. But um, the first thing we're gonna do is something very crazy. Look at this. The new triple jump wall kick setup. Here the red coin, set up, and boom, blindfolded Aulus. Yeah, blindfolded Aulus is a thing. It's not a consistent thing by any means. Blindfolded Aulus will not happen in normal speedruns. But I will point it out later, if we do the Aulus route that I showcase here, we actually save a total of 10 seconds compared to um, what we would usually do. So it's not a big change that we that we do Aulus in this run. Next up is Cannonless, the very classic setup. Cannonless has not changed much. 
There have been a few optimizations in um, how to get fast to the corner with the long jump to like towards the bridge. But there, there hasn't been much of a change to make this star faster. I'm very confident that we could in fact go to um, go to do like a salt cannonless setup, but yeah, it would require a big grind, which I am not willing to do right now. The last star we're gonna grab in Womps is Into the Wild Blue. Um, the classic star, nothing, nothing too special about it, and that's it. In this all Aulas route we skip the boss fight and we do skip the tower which as I said the tower is a pretty fast star and the boss fight is like 38 seconds long which is not so slow either and we don't really have any fast fast stars to replace them but we can make 10 seconds out of it hence I included it in this video as well here is some castle movement that I am um, improved especially the the triple jump from Womps uh, very good you can see mips here running around even though i don't have 16 stars yet 15 stars this is simply just because um this edited video here is more like a showcase i didn't have time to like completely make everything perfect so i just went with my practice rom well that was a 7.8 blindfolded <laughs> oh yeah ssl pyramid it's nothing special, it's just a very fast strat. We do the little um, single jump there, it saves around 0.5 seconds compared to my normal strat. And now comes the big game changer, the big new visual talent strat blindfolded with um, the shy guy here. I have done this in runs already now, I've been doing this in actual speedruns and hitting it in actual speedruns. In the past few days I have stopped doing it because it is just not consistent enough and I currently grind for world record in the old route. So currently I'm not really, I don't know, I'm, I'm not willing to take the okay. inconsistency just it's yet. Good enough. But those are the two stars we grab in SSL. Now we head to LLL in which we grab a surprisingly high amount of stars. First of all, red coins, classic. This strat has not really changed since my last world record. This strat stayed 100% the same, actually. There's nothing to change. It's very fast, pretty consistent. Um, really cool star, in my opinion. Now, the next star you're gonna see is actually something new, though. Um, the next star is pretty crazy, so don't blink here. We're gonna do some long jump setups, very precise camera maneuvering, and then we actually do it. We go for blindfolded logless. And you can see I have a setup. It is cons like, the, the funny thing is it is kind of consistent. Um, it's not very consistent, but it is doable in runs even, I would, I would say. I will not do this in runs for now. It would be, it would save like 5 seconds if we would do this in runs, but um, currently we only do logless if we do the hourless route, which we are not going for. So, yeah, this is, this is more like a showcase of that it is possible. The bully strat here has also some new strats, which you can see here with the backflip long jumps into the ending. That saves around 3 seconds compared to my old strat. 22.7. But I have to admit the the long jump lo uh, the long jump ending plus backflip is extremely inconsistent. Still, I need to work on that. Um, we might find out something better there, but yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty inconsistent so far. So I would rather take the three second time loss. I think. Next up, we have elevator, which has very new strats. Look at this. We do the triple jump then a double jump to get the early fire cycle and then a early jump dive long jump rollout a uh, jump dive rollout onto the lower platform there like in the visual strat basically um again the the early the early jump dive rollout is very inconsistent so in a real speedrun you would for example climb all the way up the pole and take a two to three second time loss there the triple jump is in though Last but not least, we have the crazy strat of 2023. <laughs> you, you have guessed it right. Blindfolded lava boost into the volcano star. It's actually funny because while I was editing this video, I had two options because 
we actually also have done the tiny bullies in LLL. And both of these stars are um, literally the same time. I think they are apart by like, w like 0.1 or 0.2 seconds. So I could just choose if I want tiny bullies or um, lava boost in the route. And just for the showcase here, there was a tiny bit of a of a mishap with the recording. <laughs> I hope that is okay. But yeah, we enter HMC. We're gonna do um, Nessie here. Nessie has not seen that much of a change since my last world record. We do this little jump dive there. We do the little jump dive before we enter the door. Which also is not super consistent, but I have done it in runs now already, so I'm pretty confident that we can make this work. Next up um, is HMC Amazing Exit, which has also new strats. This particular strat here that you can see is a very big single star world record strat. You would never do this in runs. Uh, we would, we actually do have a new strat also there, which is like one second slower than this. But um, now that we have the new route, in both of the new routes with LBLJ, we need to grab the Toad Star uh, in between the HMC stars because we will end up in HMC to grab MIPS. So we collect the last star in 16 star here. The last star that we get is Rolling Rocks. Rolling Rocks also has m multiple new strats. Um, in speed trends, I go for a bit of a different strat, but I'm thinking of re-including this here. This is the double jump dive rollout into the star. Very, very fast, but pretty inconsistent because you have to hold a angle on your analog stick that is between two notches, so it's very difficult. But we are done with the stars. Now we can go to go basically finish the game. Here is the new MIPS catch from HMC. I found this setup really fast, thankfully, like when you hug the walls and then you do a setup based on uh, Mario's footsteps and then you can catch MIPS pretty consistently. The MIPS clip on the first door is still the very same as um, five years ago. It's still the same four steps up into downright. Now the next MIPS uh, clip is different though. Here is a new setup. I actually have done this in my last world record, I think. Yeah, I did. So this is not really new. Um, but yeah, this is the new, this is the, the MIPS setup. We, we don't normalize here anymore in this right corner, but we instantly go. So very sorry for the construction sound noises. <laughs> and this is the MIPS clip. Now DDD has an interesting one. There is a strat in the community that you might know under the name Chip Clip. And it's actually possible doable. Again, this is a strat that would not really be used in speedruns because it's just way too inconsistent. But for the sake of showing it off, I included it. The The, the fun fact about this strat is it does not even save time. <laughs> I think a perfect Chip Clip saves like two seconds, maybe. Uh, you can see here when I now swim towards the back fin, I lose some time here because I swim way too long to normalize into the fin. Here we could easily go one or two seconds faster. But but yeah, the current world record of the stage is of the star is not even with chip clip, so I haven't split the lips, I just noticed. Whatever. But yeah, um you can see many of these strats are like single star strats, but we actually can go basically same speed in RTA strats. Now this fire C I have shown off on Twitter a while ago. This is the the fire C single star world record right now. Um, extremely crazy strat. First of all the early cycle here. This is all the same that we also do in normal speed runs. It has one, new, two new additions. First of all are the Nico wall kicks which are coming up here. We don't do the backflip setup anymore, but we're gonna do this craziness here. Bam, bam, double wall kick, double jump, dive rollout, single jump, and then drift to the left to perfectly hit that triple jump. And I even got first this year. This IL is 
probably like unbeatable. It's like so yeah, yeah. hard to I beat. I can easily run like one beat. <laughs> if we want to do the same star in a normal speedrun, the normal speedrun strat would be around four seconds slower than this. So also not much, but definitely it adds up after a while. Here's the new Bowser 2 strat. Um, we actually manipulate Bowser by um, walking a tiny bit forward before grabbing him, and then we can basically place him into the bomb with only one time running around. This this is consistent, this is done now in speedruns, and it saves around 4 seconds compared to the old strat. So really cool that this is possible and consistent now. Now, um, we only have one stage left and the infamous BLJs. BLJs are still a big problematic area of the run. They do kill many runs. I just lost a world record paced run yesterday to it. I was more than a minute ahead at BLJs and then I just could not get it. Uh, but I had some training sessions with Green Suiji, the current visual 16 star world record holder. So I, I think I can learn this pretty well. For this, this is of course a segmented run, so we will get first try uh, BLJs here. What is maybe new is this new uh, BLJ normalization strat at the stairs. I think I've done this before in my in my last world record, but it's really consistent and really great. Second BLJ straight to the thing, and now it's time for Balls and the Sky. Balls and the Sky actually has some new stuff as well. I have shown off Bobsia in the Sky like a year ago, where we do here the triple jump dive over the platforms. That is still included. Now I catch a tiny bit of a faster cycle here on this first elevator. Um, around like, not it's not much faster, but it's a two second faster cycle. And then we punch cancel here perfectly to get straight into the middle. Mm. Then what we're gonna do is the standing left side is now a full requirement in the run at this point. There's no way we can not do this anymore. The problem is it, you have two options here. Here I got the ledge grab and that actually lost me time. This is the current world record single star world record, but I actually can improve this still by like three seconds or so because of this ledge grab there. <clears throat> you can get up there without ledge grabbing. And then the famous elevator skip, of course. And that is Bowser in the Sky in under 1 minute 10 seconds. Here the ending is new. We have a new ending to enter the pipe without normalizing. <clears throat> and we will see here the Bowser fight has not changed basically at all since the beginning of time. It is still drag him into the first two bombs. Go to the right here, drag him into the second bomb. Hope that he doesn't jump, of course, as I said, this is a segmented recording, so... Um, yeah. But, yeah, we are already at the end. Um, Bowser throw... Um, we just... To, the only thing we can do to make this fight faster is throw him fast and spin fast, so we don't need to spin super long. But that's it. I saw there was a tiny, tiny um, mishap with the recording in HMC, so... This is the final time, but you need to reduce it by like, I don't know, it was like 2 seconds, 3 seconds, I think. Boom! 1840 blindfolded 16 star sum of best. This is the best possible time we can get in blindfolded 16 star in 2023 right now. There is no known other faster strats and <clears throat> considering that I want to go for a sub 20, I really need to play well. <laughs> These are also, as I said, including strats that we don't usually go for. For example, 10 seconds in the Aulus, um, Aulus route, or like 11 seconds Aulus route. Then all these tiny optimizations that were like 4 seconds, 3 seconds. <coughs> so I think, in general, my sum of best in my normal speedrun route would look like, mm, let's say, 19 minutes. 20 seconds, I think. <coughs> but yeah. Um, that's it. That's the newest strats. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I will be grinding 16 star a lot on my stream now, so if you are interested, definitely come and hang out. Thank you very much for the support over the past few days. It's a very mentally taxing grind, so I really appreciate every chatter who hangs out during these streams. Thank you very much for all my patrons as well. Um, Bob Farrell, Boris, Ben Litz, Zeke's Manny, and all the others. Thank you so, so much. And that's actually it from my side. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day and see you soon with new blindfolded 16 star world records.